Thanks for taking the off-ramp to adventure. And welcome to St. Augustine Beach, Florida. Florida! For those of you new to the channel, we specialize in taking you to fun, inexpensive roadside attractions. And you've got to wait to the end of the video to see all the extras. We're going to be taking you on a tour of the lighthouse in St. Augustine today. We're going to check out downtown. Right now though, we're going to walk the beach a little bit. The beach. We came. We saw. We walked. <laughs> Onward with the adventure. One thing I like about these beach towns is they have these unusual, eclectic little places that you can go eat. I like this place. It's got a distinction too. Voted top 25 burger joints in the USA. I'll take it just on its looks alone. This place is fantastic. It's Obie's Filling Station. They do breakfast, and we've got storms. We're having to kind of watch out and make sure the lightning doesn't sneak up on us. Had to do this, though. There you go, vintage gas pumps. This place is awesome. Breakfast less than six bucks. I can handle that. So you gotta check this out. What? Well, you know how the old filling stations, when you pulled in, you'd hear the ding, 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 ding? They yeah. laid one across here. Look at that. <laughs> and then look at this. These are two, um, what are they? Mufflers. Mufflers. Look at that. People are ingenious when they come to artistic stuff. Not sure what it's supposed to mean, but the muffler theme, I guess, goes with the filling station. And did I mention what's on the roof? <laughs> okay, into the car, a couple of miles down the road to an extremely historic, famous St. Augustine landmark that's been there over 200 years. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. We're about to make it to the top. A little winded, but... No problem. Well, look at this. This is your reward for 219 stairs. Look at this. We're up above the bird. See the bird flying? We've got one over on him. I like this. This is amazing. It's beautiful this, up here. This is worth the drive. It's better than yeah. sitting on the 405 in LA. Remember the size of that boat? It looks so tiny from up here. And that one. I'm trying to imagine being out in the ocean on those. Okay. You only have 128 to go. You know the boat that I showed you from way up in the tower that looks so tiny? It actually is tiny. <laughs> it's like 97 degrees and really hot. How can you not stop at some place called the Tin Pickle? Just found out the Tin Pickle is actually a garage. It used to be an automotive shop. All kinds of memorabilia, remembering the day. Sailors on leave. Look at this. 
Okay, this live magazine from 1944. Okay, what we found out was that garage is where the keeper actually kept his car. And the tin pickle could either be, I thought a submarine. She said a submarine or a torpedo. We learned something today. Yeah, felt good. And this building was evidently a barracks for the Coast Guard back in World War II for the guys who were stationed here. What did you call them? Coasties. Coasties. I like that. I Coasties. Too. You Coasties like that okay? Evidently during World War II, German U-boats like to patrol the shipping lanes off the coast of Florida. We could have been invaded. Coasties. Thank you. This turns out to be a huge complex with lanes that go off. We're not sure. Where does Lee's Lane go? I don't know. Lee's Lane. What if Lee's okay if we walk this way? It's a scavenger hunt. Oh. There's like four items here that you have to find. Of course, like any scavenger hunt, they have these kind of places. You can't actually take the stuff home if you find it. You have to leave it. You just can find it. That's all. We're trying to figure out who Lee was, but we don't know. Love I is. found one. Found a Lee? <laughs> no, I found a um, scavenger piece. Oh, well, that's right. It's a you scavenger hunt. You missed it. Hunt. It was the very start. Of what it. was it? Some kind of towing rope. Oh, okay. Keep going. Okay. There should be three more. Where's the list of stuff we're supposed to find? It doesn't tell you that. Ah, look at this. It goes this way now. Okay. Is that to confuse you? Then there's this gnarly tree with a big hole in it. Are there any secrets in there? Let's check. Could there be any clues? No, just a big ugly raccoon, it looks like. See anything else? I feel like I'm in a jungle. <laughs> you are in a jungle. I feel like I'm in the swamps. It's so hot. It's hot. It's really hot and humid in here. Oh, whose idea was this? Yours? I know. Looks like there's a fungus among us. Get it, fungus? It's a... Okay, never mind. Wow! Sticky, what is it? 97% humidity, I think, today. But you know what? We love it. They just keep confusing you with all these different trails. There's one up here, and there's one over there. Let's go this one. I think we're going to this one. This one. This one? This one? Yeah. We don't know what we're looking for. Oh, I know. Yeah, they didn't tell us what we'd be looking for. How about peace on earth? Let's look for it. Right now, I just want wind. Wind, yeah. Air conditioner, fan. All right, let's Ooh, go. I'm thinking, let me borrow the brochure. That, that can be a fan. You thought I was kidding about the brochure. <laughs> no. Well, we're at the end of Lee's Lane and I haven't found anything else. We haven't found any other scavenger stuff. Our first day of vacation and we lost a scavenger hunt. <laughs> first day, first day. Man, it's terrible. And you'll never guess where the trail ends. That's right, the gift shop. Hey, that's incredible, I think I learned something. Did you? Yeah, I did, it's really pretty. Oh, we didn't get our certificate. You get a certificate for climbing the lighthouse. I know. It's a buck. I'm gonna go get my certificate. All right, go back. Okay. Get your certificate. He got his certificate. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we lost the, uh, the scavenger hunt. I, I, I had to win something. Okay, well, okay. let me see it. Does it have your name on it? No, not yet, but we'll fit it. But it's official. It's official. We, we did it. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I feel so much better. We're back at the beach. Just for a little while, we're getting ready to leave. Yeah, I want to thank you guys for coming along on this adventure with us. Appreciate it. And as far as the places we went to, some were uh, tightly packed and we've got the COVID thing going on and we were a little concerned about it. So we didn't really go inside those places. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed where we did go. 
This is a marvelous place to be. Come check it out sometime. Yeah, and you know the pictures are showing about the beaches. I mean, we all need to be safe, but this beach here and the people were really social distancing, even in the water. I mean, you, you just can't take a picture of a beach looking at it and really tell that until you're right on it. So like, like we were saying, we, we stayed away from the large crowds just for that reason. Uh, but we could still experience, we experienced a lot of things considering. Yeah, one of the things we're experiencing if you look behind us is the Saharan plume. It makes for a really interesting looking cloud yeah. on the beach. Okay guys, the important thing is, if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, all right? We really appreciate you subscribing. That helps us grow. It makes YouTube want to show us to other people. And don't forget, guys, we've got a bunch of other videos. If they don't show up right now, like when this one ends, search the Off-Ramp channel or Off-Ramp Adventures, okay? And whatever you do, don't forget. Adventure is as close as the next Off-Ramp. He gets so excited when he gets to the beach. <laughs>